Hi there! Working directly on a live website can be challenging. Testing changes and updates can result in errors or even breaking your site. Elementor hosting enables us to create a separate and private copy of our website in a staging environment, where we can safely experiment with new designs, test updates, review content and explore new features without any impact on the live website. And when we're ready, we can push these changes to our live site for the world to see. Let's see how we can use staging with Elementor Hosting. Let's start off in the Elementor dashboard and find the website we want to create staging for. Then click Manage this website. We can now scroll down to the Staging Environment section and click Create Staging. Elementor will then automatically copy our live site and upload it to the staging environment. So we don't have to worry about a thing. When setting up a new staging site, Elementor will create a new and separate URL for it, so you can access it anytime you want. And that's it. We now have a new staging environment with an exact copy of our live site. Now we are ready to access and edit our staging site to experiment with new designs, test updates and explore new features. Let's click on Manage Staging, which sends us to the staging environment. Here we'll notice an orange bar at the top of the screen, indicating we're in the staging environment. Changes that are made here, including any changes we make on WordPress or in the Elementor editor, will only affect the staging website until we choose to push those changes to our live site. We'll also notice this breadcrumb menu indicating we are in the staging environment. By navigating back, we can exit staging and return to the website management settings of our live site. Also, if we go back to all our websites, we'll now see an option to visit the staging website and go directly to our manage staging settings. Back in our staging environment, we can directly edit the homepage with Elementor or directly access the WordPress dashboard of the newly created staging site. Then we can install plugins, update versions, edit our content and test any changes without affecting our live site. If at any time we're unsure whether in the staging or live environment, we can always check the URL. If it contains STG, we'll know that we're in the staging environment. When we are happy with the changes we've made on our staging site, we can go ahead and push the staging to our live site. To do so, let's go to the staging environment section and under staging actions, select push to live. We then need to confirm that we want to overwrite our live site with our staging site. Our site will not be accessible until this process is complete. So it's best practice to push the staging site to live when site traffic is generally low, usually late at night or early in the morning. Once this process is complete, refresh the live page and we'll see all of the changes applied. If we've made changes directly to our live site, we might want to copy it to the staging environment. To do this, head back to the staging environment section and click Pull changes to staging. Then confirm we want to overwrite our staging site with our live site. And we're done. The data from our live site is now copied over to our staging site. At some point, we might want to delete our staging site and work on a clean version. To delete it, click the trash icon and confirm we want to delete the staging site. To repopulate our staging site with our live site, just follow the same steps we took earlier. And there we have it. With staging, we can confidently create, refine and perfect our websites while ensuring uninterrupted user experience and happy clients. Let's take our web creation process to new heights with Elementor Hosting and enjoy the well-deserved peace of mind that comes with it. Happy staging! Oh.